Hello everyone. Here we begin with a new chapter that is squares and square root. Very first of all, what is a square number? If we multiply a with a only, then it becomes a square. That is if any number is having a power of 2 or it has been multiplied 2 times, then it is known as the square of that number. Now, the question arises, what is a square number or a perfect squares? So here we get, it is the product of any number by itself. So, and a perfect square can be represented by product of pairs of equal prime factors. Examples of the perfect squares are 25, 36 and so on. Now here, the perfect squares can always be expressed as the product of pairs of equal prime factors. Now let's start with the exercise 3.1. Here the first question is, which of the following natural number are perfect squares? And you have to support your answer with a region. The first part is 7 to 9. And now we have to first of all find the prime factors of 7 to 9. Here we have got all the factors. And now this can be written as, after adding this, we can see that we are having the pairs of 3. And as we are getting the pairs and all of the prime factors are paired, therefore this is a perfect square. Here again, as all the factors are paired, therefore it is a perfect square. Now let's see one more part of it. Here in the second part, we are having 5488. Now let's see the prime factors of this one. Here we get the prime factors. And now light in the product form. After adding in a form of product, we make a pair. On making a pair, we got 1, 2 and 3. Here as we see, 7 is left unpaired, therefore it is not a perfect square. Here we get. Now in question number 2, we have to show that each of the following number is a perfect square. And also find whose square is the given number. First part of this one is again 1, 2, 9, 6. First of all, we are going to find the prime factors of this number. We have got the factors of it and now write in a power form. Now we go for the pairing. As we see all of them are paired, hence it is a perfect square. Now we also have to find the number of which it is a square. So for that, we are going to write this one as this. And then we can take the square common and this can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 to the whole square. And that is equal to 4, 4, 3 to 12 and 12 to 36. So 36 is square. So 1 to 9, 6 is a square of 36. You can do the remaining part in this way only. Now let's move to the question number 3. Question number 3 states find the smallest natural number by which 1008 should be multiplied to make it a perfect square. So for that again we have to first of all find the prime factors of 1008. Here we have got the prime factors of 1008 and then the multiples form. Now we pair them and on pairing we see that 8, 7 is left unpaired. This means it is not a perfect square and this should be multiplied by 7 to make it a perfect square. Here as 7 is not paired so this should be multiplied by 7 to make a perfect square. Now let's see question number 4. In question number 4, find the smallest natural number by which 5808 should be divided to make it a perfect square. Also find the number whose square is the resulting number. For that, first of all, we have to first of find the prime factors of 5808. Now here we have got the prime factors and written the form of products. Now make a pair of this. We have got the pair of all but 3 is left unpaired. So it is, it should be divided by 3 to make it a perfect uh, square. Now to get the number uh, of which it is a square, we were to write this one as. Now on dividing this by 3, we have got this and the factors of this one will be all the number except to 3 that is 2 into 2 into 
2 into 2 into 11 into 11 and now this can be written as 2 square into 2 square into 11 square and that is equals to 2 into 2 into 11 to the whole square and that is 44 square so so resulting number is square of 44 that's all in this video thank you